I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. Mano me. He's back. <gasps> Come on out. Crooked man. Crooked man, oh God. Ciao. Motherfucker. Uh, win it. Are you okay? Feel okay to bar. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. <laughs> At the crooked man's place. It's nothing. I'm fine. Maybe like, I guess you've been man. worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know, you know, I'm just <laughs> glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes. What are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. What the fuck do you get off? You think you have the right to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook. You should be ashamed. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, <laughs> but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who <laughs> killed my <laughs> sister? Well, where is it? Yeah, you're gonna bring yeah. that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Allow me. Justice has already been dispatched. Bigby executed him. Wow, What? Dead. So you see, the culprit is punished. There's no that doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Hey, then you can have your say. If you insist. <coughs> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did. Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. We all know who you are. We know what you've done. Just give it up already. <laughs> the we crooked man like, has committed oh, crimes I... against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to yeah, justify death, death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching house. Where it fucking belongs. Right. So let's get on but with it then. That's right, but we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what I kind of mean. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Yes, but he was not acting oh, on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand. He murdered two of his most faithful employees. 
I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such bullshit. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this oh, bullshit? God. Holy please. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Uh, don't, yeah, don't, 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 carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate me. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. They see some of my employees. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Lily. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that 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 when your government okay, abandoned you, you to 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 I was there to look out for you. Yes, but wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters. Well, I'm never out on my own. Nowhere else to turn. She came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree, Snow. Why would you want that? I know what you're doing. It's not gonna work. But it's not gonna work. Can't manipulate us or the other. We're not here to talk about this. We're not. Big B just means this is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the crooked We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. And the sheriff can do it. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took faith in Lily from us. While we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Ui, cú kẹt của cái này nè. Tổng bí hết tỏi cũng. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the murder. Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession that... A confession that nobody heard. Now, 
I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... Maybe. I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. Maybe. Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those oh, two top. girls dead. It happen. simply never happened. Don't Georgie don't killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I... That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, yeah. who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? We don't be seen with he will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. What's she doing here? I'd like to. I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Oh, die, die, die. Pull it, pull it. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come here. My dear, I don't Just shut up. up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Who are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you free from the ribbons. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm... Nerissa! My name is Nerissa! It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This f***er. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without Faith's help. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. And there are five other people who heard you say it. Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it first hand. He's guilty. Good enough for me? Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to <laughs> 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 keep your miserable lives afloat. 
This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What? You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You're done talking. You had your chance. You have a chance. You have a chance. Well done, then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's good enough. He only has a more if he isn't stopped. I don't care. So we get rid of him. We can send him away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? We should have a vote. No vote, man. Vote. Vote. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Big B? Big B, lah. What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Are you sure? This is how it's what the people want, Miss Wolf. Everyone looks at me. You want it? Okay, Mr. Wolf. It's your call. Ah, that's the answer. The no is me. Just do what you think is right. Ah, Google is a high. Do con vote. Let's say con the big guy, then. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Everyone, I'm not this way. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you can't. What he's done? You just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. Me, me, Tang. All right, do it. Then go do it. Tang, right? Oh, he Tang, really, really, right? ขยี้ตาแล้วโอ๊ยตื่นไงอยากนอนเราไม่ได้นอนมาหลายวันแล้วเหมือนกันนะเลือกสูบแม่ปุรีอ่ะโอ้โอ้เสกให้กลายเป็นนกเหรอ Not what I was expecting ไม่ได้คิดไว้แบบนี้นะเนี่ยรื้นสวัสดิ์ไอ้ Crooked Man He's got a sharp tongue I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it Thanks Greenleaf Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Okay, yeah. This fucking line. Oh, to the hell again. โอ้แถวยาวเวอร์อ๋อแต่ไม่มีใครวีนละเอ้าเอ้าคุณวูฟฟลายแคชเชอร์ฟลายแคชเชอร์ทิ้งกุญแจไว้ให้อ่ะทุกอย่างโอเคไหมเธอดูขอโทษคือฉันต้องทำงานอ่ะเดี๋ยวเราค่อยคุยกันนะโอเคไหมสายนะไปงานยุ่งแหละโอเคโอเคโอเคสักคนจะเห็นนะคอลินคุณวูฟนี่คือคุณวูฟนี่คือคุณวูฟนี่คือคุณวูฟนี่คก็ไม่ยอมไอ้นี่เนาะไม่ยอมแปลงร่างเนาะไม่ยอมเป็นคนนะไม่ยอมอยู่ในรูปมนุษย์มันก็ช่วยทําตัวแบบว่าดีๆหน่อยเถอะเขาเลยจะครูสาไม่พาลงไปฟาร์มนะโอเค
ขย้ายของ Oh Gowan Jesus We only have like five minutes They carry me for fuck's sake I don't give a shit We forgot these Oh thank you It's uh, been pretty busy around here Morning sheriff Nice fucking day Shit Just go grab that would you It's just a farm. You don't have to be so. How can I block? We didn't send him to the farm. Just why the hell did she have to send me and my boy away? Huh? You promised me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. Have you something? You know he was up crying all night, poor kid. He wanted to cry all night, didn't he? Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So if you could bring it to her, she was nice. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ. <laughs> but, uh, look on the bright side, okay? <laughs> อาจจะมีที่ให้ดีแล้วก็มีอีกแม่น้ำสวยเนี่ยนะคุณไม่ต้องเป็นห่วงอะไรแล้วก็ไม่ต้องเป็นห่วงอะไรแล้วก็ไ
I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there oh, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? Ow! What does it matter? Me? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... you started all this? I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, None of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. Could be For better now. or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Fable Town will not be the same if there is no you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. But you are not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around, Wolf. Boy, I have a little bit of 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 a little bit of